With Camtasia, record your screen, camera, and audio. Click to choose the style and add effects. Fine tune your video and edit out mistakes. Then share it. Let's get started. Here is the home screen with options on how to begin. To create a video, click New Recording. The recording toolbar appears. Select which screen to record. Turn the camera off or on with a toggle switch. Select a microphone to use to record audio. And decide whether or not to record the sound coming from your computer. I'll leave all the recording options on. When I'm ready, I'll press record. The countdown begins in three, two, one. Camtasia captures everything that appears on your screen. Then press stop. Now we enter the Camtasia Rev workflow, which will accelerate our video creation process with just a few clicks. First, we'll select a size for our video. Some size options have icons to help choose the best size for where a video will be shared. Next, I'll select a layout. This instantly applies effects to your video, including background removal for your camera, corner rounding, and gradient backgrounds. It's fun to try out different looks until I find the one I like best. In this video, I want most of the focus to be on the screen recording, so I'll choose this option where the screen is large and my camera recording is smaller. Click on the background tab to view additional options and select your favorite. Enhance your video with effects like drop shadow, corner rounding, or add a shadow to your cursor. Some effects are already selected since they were part of the layout I chose. Add a filter to change the look of the camera recording. Once I'm happy with the options I've selected, I'll either choose to export the video the way it is, or continue to edit in Camtasia. I want to add some text over my video, and I have a section in my recording that I want to remove so I'll select Edit in Camtasia. Now I'm in the editor, which provides me even more tools, effects, and options to animate my video. To make changes to the elements I added in Rev, I'll click to select a track and go to the Properties panel. For example, I'd like to adjust corner rounding and the drop shadow. To add text over my video, I'll go to the Media tab then click on Assets. Let's look for a lower third. I like this one. I'll click and drag the lower third to the canvas. In the Properties panel, I'll customize this lower third. I'll update the text and change the colors to match my brand. Now let's cut out the section of my video where a mistake occurred. Here is the timeline. Each track contains a different piece of my video. This track contains the background. Here is the screen recording. This one contains the camera and microphone recording. And here you'll see the lower third that we added. Here is the playhead. Click and drag the playhead along the timeline to view different parts of the video. I found the section where the mistake occurred. I'll click the red handle on the playhead and drag it until it has selected the segment of video I want to remove. Then click on Cut. You'll see a line appear indicating a cut has been made at this point in the video. If the mistake was at the end of a clip, I can hover over the end until the drag option appears, then click and drag to trim and remove it. It's always a good idea to save your video project. This allows you to come back and make changes later. Go to File, Save, Choose a location to save it, give it a name, and click Save. Now the video is ready to share. Click on Export and choose a Share option. To save it as an MP4 file that you can upload to many video hosting locations, select Local File. Have fun creating, and thanks for watching.